In this video, I'm gonna go over Spotify for artists because in the past like six months or so, Spotify's added a bunch of awesome new features that in the past when I made Spotify for artists tutorials, uh, I kind of wish that these features, these features existed. Um, so first we're gonna kind of go over just the basic overview of Spotify for artists. Then we're gonna talk about these new features and how you can use the data from them to influence or analyze the results of your, uh, your marketing campaign. So let's just dive right in. So this is Spotify for artists. If you've never been here, um, you used to get access to this through your distributor. So if you're using DistroKid, there's a button like special access or something. You go there, there'll be Spotify for artists. They'll help you get your account. Um, every distributor has a way to do this, but you can also get it directly through Spotify, but going through your distributor is the fastest way. So once you do that, you just go to artist.spotify.com and then you, you're, you'll come here and this is the homepage. So here you just get kind of an overview of all your data. I'm not gonna go through this in excruciating detail and then some kind of general tips or new features that they've been um, pointing out. Now the music tab, which we're gonna come back to when I talk about some of the new features, um, this is where you see song by song stats. So if I click on, and, and it used to default to this song page. So if I click on chains, for example, I can see how this song's been going over time. I can see where the streams are coming from. Uh, what countries, what cities, and the playlists that the song is on. Now, if I go to the audience tab, you're gonna see everything from a profile point of view. Um, this is kind of the old school stuff, listener streams, followers, so you could see how everything's going. Same sources, demographics, listeners also like, top countries, etc. Now, the profile is where you edit your profile. <laughs> so here's where you define your banner at the top. So if you click this image, you can change this image and also your profile image. You can also add your artist pick. I, I recommend making this a playlist. Um, you can also see your profile, but you can switch to your about section. And this is where you can put in some images and actually edit your bio. Now, relatively new is this merch integration and there is a, sh a Shopify integration that you can connect to your store. Um, and I made a video about that. You can check it right here. Um, it's cool, not the best thing in the world yet. Hopefully it gets better over time. Um, now they also added this charts button. This really isn't useful. It's just general Spotify charts. <laughs> so that's kind of the overview of Spotify for artists. I do have a video where I talk about like recommendations for setting up your profile that I'll link here but I really wanna focus most of this video on the new stuff they added and how you can use it in your uh, ad campaigns. So we're gonna go back to the, I guess the audience tab. And this is a relatively new feature and that is this engagement section. Now this, I think I had, I've had for roughly the past six months or so. Um, they've been rolling it out to people over time. I think almost everyone has it now. Um, but basically this lets you look at your audience level everything. So in addition to listeners, streams, and followers, you also get streams per listener um, and saves over time, which is fantastic, by the way. I, 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 I've wanted this for a long time. Um, and playlist editions. Now what's newer than this is if you go back to the music tab, there is two different ways to look at your stats. If you click on the song, you're going to see your normal song page, which is where you see the streams, timeline, all that jazz. If I go back, when I click on the album level, or the you know, album level, it's still just a single, um, we get that kind of engagement stats, but just for this song. And, and one of my biggest complaints in the past about Spotify for Artists, not complaints, but wishes for the future, was that we could have saves and playlist editions and, and streams for listener plotted. Because I, what I used to do is I used to come to Spotify for Artists every day and write down the, the saves, the listeners, the playlists, <laughs> the streams, the followers, so that I could do my own graphs and see how my saves were being affected over time. But now you don't have to do that because I can just look at saves and I can see day by day how many saves I'm getting. So if you know that you started an ad campaign on a certain day, um, you can see how that impacts your saves or if you're added to a playlist on a certain day, you can see how that impacts your saves. Now, another cool thing about this page is you can look at things on a country basis. So for a while, we've been able to go to the audience tab and like look at just the United States, for example. And then here, we'd be able to see how many listeners, streams, and uh, followers you've, you've had in the past 28 days for a specific country, which is really cool. Um, but now with this, this kind of newer thing, or at least it's newer for me, maybe the past month or so, you get this song by song. So I can see how this song is doing in the United States. Uh, 216 streams, 114 listeners. I can see the saves from just that country. I can see the playlist editions for just that country and the streams per listener. 
um, which is really cool. I can also go last 12 months. This song doesn't, it's only been out for like two weeks or less than two weeks. <laughs> um, but the way that I actually use this data is the way that I used to use my spreadsheets. So if I look back at my ad campaign and you know I used to plot saves by day, listeners by day, streams by day to figure out like the quality of my campaign. Um, so here, I, I don't have to do some mental math and think of what my stream rate is because the number of times each person listens to your song is very important. They just tell you here, it's a 2.9, which for a new song is relatively solid. Um, I usually say above a 2.5 to 3.5 is kind of where you want to be or even, even better. But for a new song, that's pretty solid. And if I go to a song that's been out for a little longer, I'll just do this one, I guess. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong... Uh, that's the wrong button. I want to do this one. And the streams per listener in the last 28 days is 2.6, but if I look at the last 12 months, it's a 5.9. So that, that kind of lets you know, um, you know, people that hear your song, how are they engaging with it long term? And you can see how your streams per listener changes over time. So since this song I promoted, you know, roughly the first month or so it came out, um, everything after this point is just people listening again. So it makes sense that the long... The, the long time streams per listener would be quite good because those people are just listening again and again. Um, so typically new songs are going to be a lot lower, obviously, because there's less time for people to go listen. Um, and you can also track and see like, well, you know, you can see pretty clearly when I ran my ad campaign, right? Like I ran it from this April 28th ish to, I don't know why they just dropped off there, but roughly May 28th ish. <laughs> um, and you can see a lot of playlist additions there. And same for saves. You can see a lot of saves in this first window and it drops off over time because the long tail of all the streams you typically get um, are just people listening again. And that's kind of the cool thing with running Facebook ad campaigns for music is that the tail's very long. If you use playlisting, you'll find that the tail is, is um, not very long. <laughs> and in fact, I can go to a song that was promoted with just playlisting, but this song is, I uh, believe, 100% playlists and I can do last 12 months. It came out in 2019, so it's a little bit older. Um, but the streams for listener last five months is, is 2.5. And the number of saves is like abysmal compared to listeners. And um, you can see that the, you know, the streams is just kind of trickling in over time and saves are very kind of far and few and far between. Same with playlist editions. That's kind of normal um, playlist promotion behavior. You don't see a lot of saves playlist, etc. Now, another really cool way you can use this data is to see which one of your songs people are engaging with the most. St obviously, streams is kind of an indication of this. Like if one song's in way more streams, you might assume that it's better. But depending on which way you promoted your music or how well the ad campaign went, um, that might skew your result. Because it's not all about just the pure number of streams. It's also about the quality of, of the people that are listening. If they're just streaming and they do nothing else, that's much less valuable than if they're streaming, saving, streaming many times, adding your song to playlists, etc. So um, I can kind of look at my song, Where Did You Come From, which I almost didn't even release as a single because I thought it was going to do badly, but I just wanted to release it anyways, and it did badly. <laughs> um, so like my new song is like going to surpass this in like a week, and the song's been out for six weeks or so. But I can look at, for example, these streams per listener. And you saw my new song, Sunrise, was about a 2.9. This song has been out for, you know, uh, two months now, and it's still only a three. So that even though I, I like I got three thousand people to listen to the song, um, people only listen three times, which is still solid. But compared to another song I looked at, um, you know, my new song's already a two point nine. One of my older songs was about a five point two or whatever it was. This song's only a three, so it shows that people really didn't dig this as much. Um, even if the song had a ton of streams, the streams for listener shows that you know at least the, the people that listen aren't digging it as much. Now you can also look at the playlist editions. This is kind of a skewed number. So what I recommend, if you want to analyze just pure saves and playlist ads, um, unfortunately, Spotify doesn't chart out, like do some math for these for you, but you can just do some, you know, break out a calculator and do saves divided by uh, listeners, which in this case it's 20%, which is decent, right? 20%, yeah, 20%, um, maybe a little less, it's decent. Um, especially the fact the song's been out for the bit, but playlist editions is roughly 10%. And then if I can go back to my music page and I'll look at the song that came out before it, which this song wasn't my best either. This song is a much higher streams per listener. 
Um, I think it came out two months before that one. Yeah. Um, but the ratio of saves to listeners is more like, no, also 20%, but the playlist editions is better than 10%. So, like, people are engaging with this song uh, generally better. Um, not phenomenally better, but definitely better. Um, and then I can look at my new song, Sunrise, which you looked at for a sec. It's only been out for you know, less than two weeks. Streams for a listener, similar to that song, Where Did You Come From? The save rate is like a 30%, 33%. Playlist Editions um, is about a uh, 15%. So this song, people seem to be engaging with at a much faster rate. The song's been out way less, and it's already starting to compete in this number. And these ratios are, are keeping pretty high. So you can kind of learn, like... What, in your audience, like, what songs are people digging, which one's not? This song, Where Did You Come From? I kind of had a hint that maybe it wouldn't go well, but I wanted to just release it anyways, and I was right <laughs> that it wasn't the best performing song ever. Um, best Friend was kind of similar to my song, Life Is Short, um, so it kind of makes sense that one's doing good, but the song Sunrise is a lot more electronic, which I think fits in with Change, Closer, Dreaming, uh, you, Neutron. So it makes sense like why the people listening to it are vibing with it a lot more. So yeah, Spotify for Artists is an incredibly useful tool. Every artist should get very familiar with it so that you can know how to analyze any marketing activity you're doing. Um, if you want to learn how I promote my music with Facebook ads, you can check this playlist right here. But I also have a course called Spotify Growth Machine that does all the stuff in kind of a step-by-step -step basis to make things as easy as possible for you because this stuff does get difficult. It's also linked in the description and the pinned comment below. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.